question number 200 calculate the amount of duty drawback allowable under customs act 1962 in the following independent cases jaggi mehta imported a car from uk for his personal purpose importing car and paid 450 as import duty on the car however the car was being re-exported without bringing it into use 74 one 74 one then we will get 98% of customs duty paid as duty drawback. So, 4,50,000 into 98%, 4,41,000 we will get as duty drawback. Okay. Then, Meenakshi imported a music player from Dubai and paid 12,000 as import duty. She used it for 4 months and exported the same after 4 months. Goods imported by individual for personal purpose, used for 4 months means two quarters, two quarters, so 4, 3, 2.5, 2, 4, 4 percent, for every quarter or part thereof in the first year, 4 percent reduction, for every quarter or part thereof in the second year, it is 3 percent, for every quarter or part thereof in the third year, 2.5, for every quarter or part thereof in the fourth year, it is 2, so that should be reduced, so here 4 months means first year, so two quarters, so two quarters means, so we need to take, you know, 8 percent taken out, so, 12,000 minus 8 percent, we will get duty drawback 11,040. We will get duty drawback, she will get duty drawback 11,040. Then next, XYZ Limited exported 1000 kgs of metal of FOB value 1 lakh. Rate of duty drawback is 60 per kg. So, 1000 into 60, 60,000. But the market value of that goods is only 40,000. When the market value is less than the amount of duty drawback, we will not get duty drawback. When the market value of the exported goods is less than the duty drawback amount, we will not get duty drawback. Okay. So, therefore, since the market value of export goods is less than value of duty drawback, duty drawback not available in this case. 